ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಫಾರ್ ಡೆಸಿಷನ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ಎ ಕ್ರೆಡೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ Okay. I am entering a credentials here. Once I enter the credentials, it will show, okay guys, now I will sh show the control flow. Okay, once I enter the credentials, first what will happen guys, once you enter the credentials, the decision box will come right for you. In this decision box, Okay, again. Because I already recording. Yes, I am recording. Okay. See guys. This is a what we can see. This is a easy flow guys see this is an easy flow for example i take an login here just take it login okay for login what i did first i entered credentials right once i entered credentials in decision box it if it is yes okay successfully it, it, it is going validation guys it is validating here the decision box we call validating yes or no condition okay we will use this decision box in yes or no condition once the once you enter the login credential credentials it is okay good credentials means you, you will go for sex it, it will show successfully login whether it is a wrong condition means wrong credentials again it will go back guys it is no condition it comes under no condition it is comes under no condition i have to guard okay then no condition oh uh, sorry uh, sorry sir i'm uh, interrupting yeah. you i'm just wanted to ask how a uh, system will understand whether the uh, credential is correct or not is the system uh, is this is a back end right we are just you are saying that that's all but you don't know what happening in that back end because already in uh, database there will be stored your data right your login credentials will be stored there uh, i'm uh, i'm i'm sorry uh, i just wanted to understand either mm -hmm. the email for example we are registered with the email id mm -hmm. so it is uh, no uh, go with the back end for the google yeah. page and uh, verifying there and coming back is that way it will happen exactly to... see for example uh, you, for your so, portal for, for example so while, you, sir, uh, sir, uh, sir, yeah. while generating these things do mm. we have the access to the uh, for google pay your yeah, google database see here just we are showing the flow of the system that's all but we can't go behind the back end right we can't show the back end now see for example you are asking how which uh, how it uh, it's running right for example if you enter login credentials for example if you are using instagram right you are using instagram user id and password okay, okay. once you enter user id okay it's uh, okay user id is good okay it will ask for password for you if you ask if you enter wrong password what it will show if it is good means if it if it is good means you will directly to the home page there Right, successfully log in. Whether it is wrong, again it will show. Please, you have to again enter credentials. Means login is wrong. Whether because why means why registration in registration you already given your mobile Data. number or username Data. or password. Right, it will store there. Already stored. Okay. Understand, understand that one. Okay, then by then it will show. I think it is it is a technical question. Exactly. There it we can use a business rule uh, where yeah. uh, opening a form and connecting a, each form right. with it. Yeah, this is called decision box. Decision box means you have to get validation. Okay, when 
in which scenario validation scenario okay whenever validation is going this validation box we will use that for simple okay now i will show another flow for uh there are small doubt uh, uh so in the uh, decision box uh, do we have to write uh, which which decision are you uh, taking like in this yeah, case here, validation here we, yeah we you can explain there but double click you can write here validation but uh, you can't show here but it's not showing not showing but you can while explaining you guys can explain it because this decision box only validating you can clearly explain for me uh, excuse me so what is the uh, difference between action state and action when to use action state or uh, when to use the state state exactly okay action state is where you going to start that you are going to uh, action okay your action means you are entering the credentials okay there you are giving your action the action means that you are performing there you are for login okay you are entering your credentials manually right your means for example while using that application you are entering you are enter credentials this is back end okay the decision box is back end where you are going to stop the state okay successfully it's login that is final state Because so in it this, is, uh, uh, you're saying. So in this case, login and successfully login is state, and yeah. enter credentials is action state. Action state, action state. This is the year you are going to go in action. This is action state. Correct. Point. Okay. Okay. Uh, just just for my understanding, just uh, is it whatever on whatever page if I am putting uh, mm -hmm. information that is mm -hmm. the action state. And mm -hmm. the page on which I'm landing is the state. Yeah. Okay. And one thing, guys, before starting a pro, uh, any action, uh, any what we can say that activity, you have to start with initial and final state. Okay. I forget it here. First, you have to start with initials. No. Initial. Initial. We will uh, we will say start node initial state or start node. And once this activity completed, we will we have to stop with stop node. Okay. Then only we can. Uh, Think that okay, this has stopped the activity has stopped. Okay, see one activity stopped. This is example for uh decision box where we can use the decision box. I give an example. Okay, I started for login, I entered credentials, and this is action state. Okay, this is our state. I successfully I logged into the home page or the main page. Okay, this is one example. For this is one condition means uh, decision box is very important for you guys. You have to think whenever it will comes for validating or validation. Okay, you have to use decision box means yes or no condition. For simply I can say yes or no condition. Okay, when it comes to branch and merge. Okay, I am taking another example guys. Another uh, one, uh, scenario branch and merge. What do you mean by branch and merge, guys? When we can take this branch and merge in the same scenario for online for the application, branch and merge. What do you mean by branch and merge first? When we have different methods for completing the same action. We have different? Different methods to complete the same action. Mm -hmm. same the, yeah, any Number of flows mm -hmm. uh, that leads to the same result. For example, in login, we can enter uh, our lo mm -hmm. login ID and password, and also we can be logging with Gmail mm -hmm. or Facebook oh. like that. Uh, oh. Maybe when there is a parallel processing, like we can. No, 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 not parallel, not parallel. No. Okay, we'll say branch and merges are condition based. Branch and merges are condition. When we can use in this scenario, where we can use the R condition? Payment. Payment. Payment, okay. yes. Condition. Why R condition means you have more options. For example, three to four, more than two options for you. 
okay you divide you without select, with, yeah uh, or condition you can divide uh, yeah. without yeah. arrow arrow exactly without and any with because two we have lines option or exactly. multiple lines yeah i will show you it means how to draw that okay how do you draw that uh, that scenario which show what complete diagram okay for branch and merge you taking an action state here making payment this okay making payments payment i'm making payment here something like flow guys and this one this is not a decision box then what is this or condition no why i am using this anyone options different modes of payments for yeah we like i have different number modes of, of options you have ah, so like that's a why, yeah, connector will, right yeah exactly very nice good one this is a connector in theory session sir as explained right there is a connector for us because yes. i am connecting here there are lot of, not one option for me there are lot many options right so that's why what i am doing i am connecting here okay for example options i am taking an options guys cash on delivery is there and card I am giving four options. Sir, a small doubt. Yeah. Uh, so when we are using connectors for mm -hmm. uh, like say for COD, uh, so there is option like in COD also can we, we pay by cash or UPI. So at that time you can use another connector. Uh, uh, sorry, come again, come again. Uh, so, for payment, uh, mm -hmm. we are already using one connector. Mm -hmm. So, like say, uh, within a connector, uh, if a, a case comes, like in COD, mm -hmm. we have option like uh, by paying by cash or uh, the UPI option. So, mm -hmm. can we use another connector for COD? Yeah, if you have another option, means other cash on delivery means, uh, how can you pay that? Okay, you wait. Okay, when it comes to delivery, there you are paying through cash or delivery. Okay, when it comes yes. to home delivery, okay, while well, there you can give UPI, you can cash or, or like that you are saying. Yes, sir. Okay, no worries because already we are doing here only, right? Means your cards means not only no. in okay, no, before... sir. Actually, I'm asking you, is it right or wrong yeah. if we have in case in uh -huh. future? That is not like because already we are showing here only, it's not necessary. I can okay. see card and valid. Like this, you connect it. But first branch. In same, I want to I branch you guys now. Now I want to merge. So these are very simple, guys. These tools while using once you clear about the topic, means once you clear about any domain, you're working on which domain based on your domains, you clear about the requirements as well. You can easily draw this UML di diagrams. Guys. Very simple for you. Okay. And again, I am using connector. Okay, again, I'm using connector. Why I'm using connector again? Yes, why I'm using again connector? Because after making the payments by okay. any method, the order will go on confirmation and then the further process will start to define which delivery partner will be assigned. Mm -hmm. First, I merge it and connect it. Or is it? Is it going to, I mean, it is going to give us the same, uh, you know, solution, like 
payment yeah. is going to happen. Yeah, exactly. Even if we because, choose any. Yeah, because I used it here, a connector, right? I connected. In while doing this branch, I connected. In merge also, I, work, I have to connect. So that's why I connected. Okay, here, what is this then? These are connectors. And what is this? Why are you using so this? Then yes or no? Validation box. For the exactly. process or not? Very Confirmation, good. sir. This is a decision box, guys. Okay, this is a decision box. Taking this successfully failed. Successfully failed. And flow. And this is a final step. Okay, and this is an easy flow. Okay, you can say this is an easy flow. Then yes condition. When while making payment through card or wallet or through coupon, sometimes may error will occur, right? Sometimes errors may occur. So that's why this decision box will be there. Okay, again, the control flow will change, guys. Again, it will go back to the, again, you have to make payment. This is in that condition. No. This is no, and this is yes. So branching and the merging is the same as a fork and join, or uh, different? No, no, no. It slight differ, guys. Slight differ. Okay, this is our condition. Okay, clear, right? When we use yes. this branch, okay, this is our condition. Okay, I will give example for that one. Okay, branch and uh, fork and join. Okay, when we use this fork and join, guys, that is our condition. And this is And condition. and condition. And condition. Okay, we will use it. And condition. And condition means? We will have to use all the options. Conditions have to satisfy. Sorry, man. Come again. When we got two options for the same thing. Yeah. Parallelly. Someone said uh, in last, parallelly. The two functionalities are two or more functions happening parallelly. Okay, that we call and condition. And here we will use this fork and join. Okay, guys. Here for fork and join, I'm using. Okay, which example we can take, guys, based on the scenario, today's scenario? Uh, sir, can you loan and what is, uh, what is mean by fork and jeans? See, here branch and merges and condition mark. For example, in options, you have four options. Out of that four options, you will choose anyone. You will go with anyone. Okay, that is called branch. You will go with branch and merge. That is our condition. Our means option. You have option. And condition means, see here. For example, our, our, there is a branch and our condition. You can make payment through cash on delivery, card, wallet, coupon, whatever. Okay. You, that is our condition. You can choose anyone out of this four. But when it comes to fork and join, you have to, means while doing any that uh, operation, that functionality, two or more functionality at a time. That we call and condition, parallelly happens. Okay, in this scenario, what will comes guys, parallelly happens? Uh, sir, after the uh, payment, sir, order. Payment. After the payments, order registers automatically. Actually, on. Mm -hmm. okay, uh, then. Uh, payment, uh, the, the message to the delivery guy and to message to the uh, mm -hmm. customer happens simultaneously. Sir, in or the, the in this SMS also, and email. So, mm -hmm. or while register, mm -hmm. because while register, also we need to confirm whether the mobile ID is correct, uh, email ID is correct. That's will mm -hmm. validate, no? So is it the and condition? Mm -hmm. 
uh, in the payment uh, in the payment the money is getting deducted from the uh, customer's account and credited to the mm -hmm. uh, master account mm -hmm. of the bank uh, bank and then the money is getting debited from the master account of the bank and getting credited to the restaurant owner exactly okay then you will get sms confirmation you will get mail confirmation simultaneously and sim parallelly it becomes this is for same i will give an example for you once order delivered okay. once order delivered what are the functionalities you can see this It parallelly what happens order, order confirmation by email or sms mm -hmm. feedback after food deliver maybe uh, the money will get credited with the restaurants this is for can guys Fork and join. I'm using this. See, once order delivered for you. See, I give one here. At the time, you will get SMS confirmation or mail confirmation. Okay. There will be more options for you. Okay, I will say no. See, I'm taking again once again. Any two or three options for you guys. Okay. Parallel, what we can get. Once it is confirmed, SMS, you will get SMS confirmation, you will get mail, and finally, another one, what we can get? Phone number. Notification on the application. Yeah, OTP. Notification. Or OTP. Yeah, we will get OTP. Order confirmed for order confirmed. Okay, like this. And I want to, I will show for you. Like this. See, the similar, the difference between folk and join and branch and merge. Someone asked it. See the difference between how the diagram will differ from each other. I want to join. Folk can join means folk means one to many guys here one to many join means many to one at a time one to many and many to one that we call folk and join This once it is then successfully you can get a state card fully order delivered okay for your action is stop the activity stop yes. Guys, the difference between fork and join, decision box, and a branch and merge. Okay, it may vary and it may change based on the stakeholder requirements and what you gather and what they're expecting from your end. Okay, guys, and it will change based on the domains. Okay, based on the requirements, I'll say, based on the stakeholder requirements, also it may change for you. But the flow, what you are doing, it is same guys. Okay. The flow what we are using here as a BA, it the technology the all will be same. The arrows the all will be same, but here the values may change that so okay. The, what the requirements we are mentioning here, it may change that so, but the flow is the same, guys. Okay, here I differentiated three for your reference, guys. For uh, decision box one, I take on one scenario. For branch and merge, I take on one scenario. 
per fork and join I taken on scenario. The activity diagram, how it looks like means all will be one. Okay, all will be in one one flow. Okay, if you want to continue the flow means, okay, you can remove this, the start button and remove this, uh, this one guys. See, I will show you. Okay, for your uh, understanding purpose, I did like this. Now I will connect how it will look like for you. When making payment, what happens? See, I log in, I successfully in search option. I will, if uh, there is a flow activity for flow means uh, search option, you will draw the activity for search option. After that, pay, pay, payment will come. Okay, payment option. When successfully paid, you can copy this one. Okay, this flow will come. Okay, I started with start point. And the flow, see the flow like this, and I ended with the end. Yes, like this, we will draw activity diagram. Is clear about UML the yes. activity diagram and use case diagram? Clear, right? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, okay. yes, sir. Okay, let's go for a sequence diagram. Okay. Sequence diagram. Before entering the sequence diagram, I will show you one uh, slide for you in just a minute. Yes, you guys can see my screen, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sorry, this is a sequence diagram. Sequence diagram, it will show us, guys, for example, it will show the interaction between how the actor and the objects. Guys. How the actor interacts with object, it will show the interaction. Okay, the interaction between actor and the object. The difference between use case and sequence here. In, sequence, in use case diagram, it will show how actor interacts to the system. Okay, here in sequence diagram, it will show the object. For example, if you have any object means, how in actor interacts with that object. Okay, and this sequence diagram is drawn by, used by our developers. Okay, mainly to understand for a business means uh, professionals to understand what the requirement for a new system. They will go through the existing system, guys. Okay, they will go through the existing system and they will check what is the flow there. But if you, they want to add any new requirement or enhance to enhance their any feature to that means they will draw this pin. Okay, they will draw this uh, sequence diagram. Okay, based on this MVC guidelines and theta architecture. Okay. You, you, you guys are clear in uh, theories, right? In workshops, this MVC and theta architecture. Based on this, okay, we will draw this uh, sequence diagram, guys. Okay, for example, now we taken ATM transaction, ATM machine for you. Okay, there is an uh, example for ATM machine. If you enter to the ATM, guys, okay, ATM, you will see an object. What is an object there? ATM machine. Yeah. ATM yeah, machine. ATM machine is an object for you. Yes, Here actors, you guys. Okay, you guys are actor. What you will do and how you interact to that object called ATM machine. See, it simply we shown here. You as a user, you will enter to the machine. I means ATM. Okay, user interact to the ATM first. He will interact to that. How he will enter? What once you enter to that ATM means ATM machine displays your main screen here. Okay, main screen. 
and what it will say enter your card what you will do you will insert your card okay. atm what it will do it will request for your password right it will request for your password as a user what you will do you will enter a password okay then atm machine another object this is an another object here that concern term okay atm object atm okay interacts with the concern term here how it will concern term verify first it will verify your account okay whether your account the concern term verify your account with the bank that bank what it will do your that is which bank for example uh, per week there will be a for example if you are using icici bank credit card or debit debit card guys if you swipe that card more than 3 in other banks what it will do it may it will add charges Credit for you right charges. it will add charges for you how it will know how it's know the machines know me by the consent term okay it will verify that account and verify it with the bank whether you are swiping the card with the same atm or differ atm Okay, then again it will verify that whether it is a card with the same bank or different bank. Whether it is a good account or bad account. The card is good or not. The chip, there will be a chip right in that, that expiry date. Okay, it will check expiry date as well. It is expiry date or valid or not. Like that all the consent term will do to the bank. Okay, then it will, once it is uh, verified to the bank, means bank sent and reply to the consent term that whether it is a good bank or bad bad bank no, no, no. okay whether it is a bad bank consent term what it will do it will send a reply to the atm that it is a bad account message okay it will display what atm will display the bad message for us okay then again it will generate a receipt for you okay based on the scenario what happens then it will generate a receipt for you and it will they tell to you eject a card okay then you will take your card back okay and again the main display will show for you. the screen will display for you okay guys like this we will uh talk about the sequence diagram sequence diagram means the how the once you enter to the object means how it will again uh replace to us that we called sequence diagram Clear guys, you have any doubts in here? Sequence diagram? No, sir. sir. As said, there is no doubt, but why we use a bad account over here? Hmm, because like, for... what is the reference of bad account? Bad account means, for example, your there is a your uh, account has blocked, guys. Okay, you, yes. uh, you have already account. Okay, the account has blocked, but you have a card. Okay. Okay, what it will, but you don't know that that account has blocked or not. Okay. Okay, you for, but you don't know, you didn't get any messages that card has blocked. Okay, immediately card has blocked. You entered to the ATM. Okay, you entered your card, but bank know that your card has expired or not, blocked or not, whatever. Okay, again, based on that, this message, it will send for you, whether it is, it is good. For example, it is a good account means, then again, the scenario will be changed here. The flow will be changed. Again, you will enter your amount. Okay, enter your amount, whether it will show that uh, that what the particular amount that you are looking for, 2,000 or 5,000, it is in, uh, there will be sometimes it will display only, there will be no 200 rupees note, only 500, 2,000 notes. Okay, like that, the scenario will be changed for you. Okay, sir. The flow may be changed. Okay, like that, we will interact with the sys uh, object test. Okay, so this is all about UML diagrams, guys. Uh, let's start with uh, uh, now this one. Prototype, prototyping, prototyping. Okay, for prototyping, I already said. Uh, let's can move the links. Okay, yeah. You can see my screen. This one. Yes, Word, docu Word document. Yes. Sir. Okay, let's discuss on uh, we completed a uh, three guys MS Visual use case diagram activity and sequence. Okay, let's discuss on Azure and Balsamic right now. Okay, so guys, uh, let's take 
break for 10 to 15 minutes. Now let's continue. So we'll take break. Okay, let's take break. break. Yes. Yeah. Break. At what time we need to come back? Ten nine forty five. Around nine forty five sharp. Okay. Let's start at nine forty. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, sir, we will draw sequence diagram or not? Yeah, we will draw. We will draw. Okay. I'll show you yeah. the simple in simple way how we can draw that. Sure. Because uh, for clear example, like one here. Okay. This is very easy for you. Can see my screen? Yes. For us, there is a sequence diagram here. Okay. First, I will come up with some objects. Guys. Okay. What are the objects I am? We come up with some objects. And message what you are sending message like this you can send a message here. okay you can say that this is a double click and you can change here so then atm Like this, you, you can draw by using this sequence diagram. This is very simple. Okay, the sending what the message you are sending, like uh, first it will display for us. Like once you enter to the ATM, first it will display. Click what the display main screen. Main screen it will display, and what you will do? Okay. For example, enter your card. Okay, once you enter the card, again it will go for verification. For example, message card will go. For verification. For consent term. In consent term, it will check that whether your card is uh, not good, guys. For example, okay, card is not good. Then again, what it will do? Resend a message for you. Activation, you will see. Okay, we will check here. Okay, it is sending verification that it is a bad, for example, it is a good or bad. For it is a bad means, okay, it will send a bad message for you. Then again, what you will do? Okay, this is another flow, guys. This is not a good flow. I am showing that a uh, bad flow for you. See, and the bad flow that's a message something set for you. Then what you will do? The message says what you will, you will take again. You will take back your uh, or reject card. The card is rejected for you. Pardon. And what you will do? And it will uh, generate a receipt for you. For example, again, receipt generated. It will generate, and what we will do, we will take a card. Okay, using take card. Then finally, what happens? Again, main screen display. Hmm. 
Okay, guys, like this, uh, you will draw your sequence diagram. Uh, mainly it will uh, use it by developers, guys. Okay, as a VM, we should have good knowledge. Readable knowledge is enough for us. Okay, this is the difference between activity, use case, and uh, sequence, guys. Okay, I will record this uh, sequence uh, use case diagram for you. Okay, once again, and I will share you with you guys. Thank Sir, you. a small doubt from my ah, side. Ah. So, sequence diagram, can we say that sequence diagram and swim lane diagrams are same? Yeah, sequence and swim lanes are different. Swim lanes are, you are using the different, because uh, here, uh, oh, see, the swim lanes, how we can draw, means the activity, there is an activity diagram, right? Based on using this activity, we will draw the swim lanes. Okay. So not based on the sequence diagram. Here only it will show the flow of that object. Okay. okay. But in in swim lanes it will it, it was different. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, meet on ten nine fifty or nine fifty five. Let's, let's meet on uh, what time, guys? Uh, 9.50 is fine. Yeah, 9.50. Yeah, 9.50 is fine. Okay. Let's meet on 9.50. Okay, I will add your dinner and come back. Huh? Okay. Sorry. Guys, uh, let's talk about now. Prototyping. Okay, in prototyping, guys, we have three stages. Called, uh, guys, please unmute. Please unmute yourself. Please unmute. Mute yourself. If you have any doubts, please unmute and you can answer.
guys they are priest for us like uh, wire frames mockups and prototypes sir we are not able to see your screen Now you can see. Yeah, sir. Yeah. See. Yes. Yeah. Here, uh, when it comes to screens and pages, guys, as a VA, this is our essential role and responsibility, guys. While doing this, wireframes, mockups, and prototypes, what we call. Okay, you know the difference between these two. No, sir. So this is prototyping, no? Yeah, uh, like uh, screens and pages. Okay, what the difference between these uh, three? Means wireframes, mockups, and prototypes. Any idea? Who prepares wireframes and who prepares mockups and who prepares prototypes? Okay, what do you mean by wireframes? Okay, I will say, guys, once you gather the requirements, you have to model the requirements, right? Okay, in model, modeling the requirements without wasting your time. Okay, without wasting a time, as a BA, what we will do, we will prepare a wireframes called blueprint. Okay, by using uh, paper and a pen or pencil, okay, paper and pencil or pen, we will draw immediately on screens and pages. First. Okay, how the screens and pages look like, a dummy, for example, how the application looks like, or we will draw that. How the requirements, where should be the requirement should be there. For example, if you are creating on login page means how it looks like. Okay, you will draw, you will give a blueprint for them using wireframes that we call wireframes and it's drawn by BA. Okay, that we call wireframes or blueprints that we call drawn by BA. And what we call mockups. Mockups are advanced of wireframes. Okay, that is all advanced of wireframes. Means here you will add some colors and shapes to the uh, blueprint. That's all. In uh, blueprint, just you will show that uh, image means image icon. That's all. You won't add any images there. Okay. If there is a button, means just you will show that one button will be there. That's all. You won't add any color, text, or anything. Just like a dummy, the blueprint. That's all. Then in mockups, you will add some advanced, like more than advanced means you will add some colorfully to look good. Okay, by using these tools, using this Azure and Balsamic, we will draw these wireframes or mockups. We can say wireframes or mockups. Okay, when it comes to mockups, here. BA and UI UX team will come this. Okay, BA will help UI UX team to make mockups or BA also do the mockups. Okay, based on the organization, it may change this for you. So, what is this UI UX? UI UX team, designing team. Designing team, okay. Yeah, UI UX team will be there. Okay, once you give this blueprint for them, means okay, they will work on this mockups. If again they have any doubts, again, or any misunderstanding, means okay, as a BA, you will help them. Okay, when it comes to prototypes, okay, in prototypes, what you prepare mockups means the screens and pages here, it will finalize, guys. This is not finalized one. Here, just you are giving a blueprint for them. When it comes to mockups, it is finalized to them. And based on this mockups, in when it comes to prototypes, here involvement of UI UX team and developers. DevOps. Development team will work on this. Okay, based on the back end. Okay, what are the back end they want to give? Okay, they will give and they will work on this. 
okay back end data that uh, sir, uh, one small question so after doing this mock up so are we taking any sign up from uh, product team yeah or? yeah you have to you have to take sign up because it okay. is approved okay it is a sign off means okay then you will introduce it uh, you have to take the next stage right this two or not comes means uh, first we will give uh, without wasting the time as a ba okay you will think what features should be comes in that page in the screen page for example you are working on main page okay main page in that main page what uh, what should be there I means where it should be located okay icon for they will ask you logo where where should be logo which should come left side or right side okay for example there is a chat box chat box where it should be come downward or right about the screen where should be come okay you will give one some sample screens and pages in wireframes okay to add more colorful you will enter you will work on mockups okay same based on the blueprints you add some colors and uh, shapes to in in mockups by using uh ui ux team okay with the help of ui ux team okay once it is finalized mockups are finalized means you work on prototypes okay development team and ui ux team work on that prototypes that that we call a final uh, application Okay, while you are using how it works. Okay, the final uh, based on the back end, everything, the data that we call prototypes. Okay, for this, we are using some tools called Azure and Balsamic. Okay, now I will use a Balsamic, guys. Uh, so, what additional features we will add in prototypes? Additional? Uh, not like add, not like additional features. That what are the features that you added here in wireframes and mockups. Okay, just you will develop an application. Here, complete application we call prototype. User interface. User interface, complete user interface with backend data. For example, with here there is no any backend data, guys. Just you will prepare that sort. Here with backend data, you will work. That we call prototypes. Yes, you guys can see my screen, Balsamic. Yes, sir, we can. You can see right the interface. Okay. This is a canva of uh, for balsamic. See. See here you can see the widgets. We can see the widgets like the shapes or what we call the shapes. All shapes you can get from here. Okay. For example, if you want if you're working on web application, you can take this browser first. Okay, first I will take web application. For example, I will work on same food application. Food app. Okay. Now I am creating a login page, guys. For example, I am creating a login page. I will show you. If you take a here. Now I want text, whatever. First I want some text, right? I want to text, right? To quick search. Okay. I can't go scrolling on. I can't time waste my time. So that's why I'm using quick add. Here I will search for text. I want text. Okay, text will come. Double click and you can reframe that for login page. Okay. And I can resize it. Okay. If you want to change the font size, okay. See the right side. You can change the font size. And if you want bold, bold, and if you want to color color whatever you want okay this is a login page there will be fields right i'm copying the same for okay. text here i am going user id fast okay this is i want to change the color you can change it
Please say it's a user ID and password. Now I want to enter here. If I want to enter means I want text input. Right, text input. So if I, is, there is a text input. I'm taking text input. Taking text input. And I want one button. For button, you will search here. Button called. You can see the alignment also. See, if you go left and right, you can see the alignment, whether it is the center or not. If you want alignment for this one, okay, you can align for center. And I want one link, guys. I am creating a link. If I forget password. I'm giving one link for that. If you forget my password. Yeah, for example, this is what I'm going to give for a stakeholder a home page. Okay. This is home page, guys. For example, this is home page. And I want uh add another one. Okay, if you want another one, it's control in. Okay, if you click on control in, another screen will display for you. Again, I am copying the same here, this one. The home page, how it looks like. For them, I want to give one wireframes now. Okay, wireframes, just click here, image or logo. You will get logo or I will take image. This is wireframes, guys. I'm creating wireframes here. Just logo will come. And for example, uh, this more image this like I for food. These are all food. Okay, let's check the alignment. And I'm taking text here. For text, I'm giving some. Uh, how can I give like ABC product? Uh, four dollars or quantity. I will give one kilo and quantities four dollars. Like this, I will give below this. I'm copying the same but sample I'm creating a sample is it will changes for you okay, like this like a home page I'm creating a home page this is wireframes guys this is wireframes what I'm preparing for you then again you want to upgrade this it means advanced wireframes are called mockups right if I want to create a mockups based on this blueprint means okay I will go for Google Images. Put images. Okay, I will copy from here. If you have their photos, means you can go with that. Otherwise, you can copy. Okay, this is called prototypes. No, not mockups. Okay, that is why this is wireframes. What I am giving, and this is. Prototypes means mockups. Sorry, mockups means advanced that pictures you are adding pictures, a diagrammatic. So guys, the difference between see the difference between mockups and uh, wireframes. Before it is a wireframe. Now I am converting that into mockups. And I will select another code. Okay. 
Okay, like this. You will prepare this. Copy the same. And add this. Okay, like this. Keep on. You will go on. Uh, keep going on adding some uh, pages, guys. Based on the requirements. Okay, whatever the pages comes under your uh, requirements, your application, you guys will go some adding that. Okay, and I will show how to create a link or how to navigate one page to another page. For example, I want to, if I click on uh, this button, it should be redirected to the home page. Okay, click on submit button. Okay, we'll give submit button. It should be redirected to the next page. I'm clicking on submit button. Okay, and I will create a link here. There is no link. Okay, I want it should be redirected to the mock to means mock no, mock up page. I click okay link created text. The link has created. And here I will give for example. I'm taking it text here. And this is card page. Okay. For example, I'm like creating a card page. That's all. Okay, what are the features make up? Okay, you know, right? Just I'm giving an overview card page and giving on the page. Okay, in this button in card page, you will select some items. Okay, once you select the items, once you click on payment, make payment. Reader to the another page. The page called the payment page. Please. The payment page. In payment page, what are the features you have to add? Okay, in Azure, I will show clearly for you. Okay, Azure, I will show clearly. Yes, I will. I am going to link now. See, once you click on submit button, it should be redirected to the this home page. Okay, in home page, if you click on any, for example, card page, I am adding a card here. For example, there is a card here right, in your main. If you want to resize, means you can resize here. Resize it. Okay, if I click here. It should be redirect to the I'm giving a link. I think it should be redirected to the card page. Okay, card page is number three. Okay. In third page, in card page, I selected some item. I want to make payment. If I click on make payment, it should be redirected to the payment page. Okay. Selected. Okay. Like this. Now I prepared some pages, right? I prepare the mockups like one, two, three, four mockups, and I want to run this. Okay, if I want to run this, there here there is a right, right, and or you can uh, press Control F, or you can press here for presentation. Okay, see, once you press means, see you can present like this for your stakeholders. Okay, you can present like this for your stakeholders here you will enter your password and id but here you can't enter guys in when it comes to uh ball submit here you can't enter the values but in azure you can enter the values okay that is the advantages of azure compared to uh ball submit so that's why nowadays we are using azure more guys azure rp compared to ball submit azure is more advanced so here we can't enter any fields here so that's why just i can show that so here you can enter user id and you can enter password once you click on submit it will redirect to the home page okay in home page you selected and you can add to the card okay if you want to see the card page means okay once you click on card page card page will open in card page there will be some uh, your favorite list you added 
okay to uh, from uh, three to four items you added select you select one, uh, out of that and you click on make payment it will lead up to the home page okay from here you will make a payment and like this you will prepare mockups and webcam space by using this balsamic right it's clear about this balsamic the tool why we use this how to use the balsamic tool yes sir what, are, what is the difference between azure and balsamic yeah now i will say what is the difference between azure and balsamic is when it comes to visualization see this is not like we uh really look like an application right we can't see the reality application when you use a uh, azure you will look like it's a really an application you are really using that application okay that one feel and second thing here we can't enter a fields or text or inputs we can't enter here when it comes to azure you can give a clear explanation or presentation to a stakeholder stakeholder it looks like and real application they are using that okay, for prototypes we will use that one for wireframes only we, it is best, best for wireframes best for wireframes when it comes to mockups that azure is best for us okay so that's why nowadays for uh, for stakeholders we are not giving mockups wireframes uh -huh. wireframes we are giving mockups to them okay to look good we are giving mockups rather than wireframes we are giving mockups to our stakeholders is clear and when it comes to so which is, uh, actually, uh, sorry which is uh, which is mostly used uh, uh, as your or balsamic balsamic uh, balsamic only uh, used for wireframes so nowadays we are not using wireframes because for good looking for a presentation for good presentation we are go behind Azure map. Nowadays we are using Azure. Azure is more advanced than Balsamic. Okay, you guys more concentrate on Azure. Okay, Azure RP. Okay, clear. Any doubts here? Let's go for Can Azure RP. Can you repeat again, sir? Sorry. For okay. This. Can you okay. repeat again? Okay, no worries. See this. Mockups for uh, mockups and wireframes. We are uh, using this balsamic and Azure guys. First thing, why we are using this balsamic and Azure means screens and pages to design screens and pages. How the real time application looks like, we are giving a blueprint or otherwise we are giving mockups. Mockups means advantage, advanced of wireframes. Okay, there we are adding some colors, pictures to that wire wireframes that we call mockups. So why we are using these screens and pages I means the screens and pages once it is approved from our client, okay, our stake inter inter stakeholder external stakeholder clients means it will forward to the technical team, okay. Then technical team start working on front end and back end called wire prototypes. Got prototypes means they will add front end and back end to that prototypes. Prototypes means in front end, you know what are the front end means. They will use out the navigation of the screens called front end and behind that what are working that are back end. Okay, they will work on prototypes. Once it is approved, the screens and pages. You if you say, sir, uh, for your client, sir, this is a login page for your application. It is okay or not? If they okay, approve, it, agree with this means okay, it is finalized and it will go move for prototyping. This purpose we are using this tool. Okay, balsamic tool. Here, I already said I have used the text here. This are all text. Insert text inputs. Text input means you have to give, enter a field. If you want to enter a field, means you have to give text inputs. Okay, I given a forget a password link here. If, link means I can explain them if if they forget the password means. Okay, by clicking this link, they can redirect to the mail. Okay, they will send mail to the, I mean, it's a verification code to the mail. So that's why I given forget password. And this is the alternative flow. We can say the alternative. Right. This is a basic flow using uh, user ID and password. This is a basic flow. Alternative flow means once you forget the password, this is another no, 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 no. Ah, to log in for that. So once you click on that, 
then it will redirect to the home page. How we can show the re how we can present means there is an option here presentation or you can con press control F. Okay, it will redirect like this. But here you can present to your stakeholders, internal or external stakeholders, like uh, here you can enter a password and ID. Okay. Then once you click on submit button, it will redirect to the home page. Okay, navigation, you're showing the navigation. Once, if you want, means you click here and you can add to the cart. Okay, if you want to see the cart page, means once click on cart page, you can see the list of your cart page, what you added here. Once you click on payment, make payment, it redirects to the home payment page. Okay, here the fields will come, guys. that's all. Okay, given a sample for you. Okay, it's clear here. So, uh, sir, while uh, while uh, while in actual, we have to create a, a complete website, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or only sample we have to show. Not like complete website that we have to uh, uh, prepare complete screens and pages of that application. Each and every field, right? We yeah, every field. To... Exactly, because uh, it will take every different stages of the uh, application or product we are working on. Exactly. Based on your application, for example, if you're working on for a food application only for you think that you're working for food application. Okay. Not only you have to think you will prepare more than hundreds of screens and pages you will work. Okay. You work on hundred page, hundreds of pages because what means you have to work on customer point of view, admin point of view, right. And uh, restaurant point mm -hmm. of view. Or point of view, there are different different uh, pages will be there for them. If you work on uh, customer point of view, the home page will come, making payment page will come, card page. Okay, like what kind of features, what kind of requirements you are gathered based on that requirement you gather, the pages will be increases for you. And generally, what uh, how much from? timeline we are uh... mm -hmm. based on the project, ma'am, based on the project. They will give For you, BA. Okay. yeah, uh -huh. BA. Okay, BA. Okay, they will assign you. Means based on the project, the timeline will be fixed for you. Okay. This is this is made by the BA or the UI UX design team. Yeah, here main wireframes. I said the main is BA only. He only do the wireframes and mockups. When it comes to prototypes, it will go for development team. In mockups also somewhere you will do, otherwise there will be a UI UX team when it comes to mockups. But wireframes or you have to do. But sir, there is a hundred of pages uh, mm -hmm. which we draw to by BA, but somewhere we require the help for the BA. So, yeah. so who will not help only one, this, I mean? See here, not only one BA will be there in organization. There are a lot many BAs, three, four. Based on the project, BA will be there. Mm -hmm. Okay, if it is a small project, one BA. You know about in theory sessions, you learn right the team yeah, based, on the teams, yeah, based on the teams. Based on teams. Yeah, in a team of 24. Yes. Around 12 to 15 percent of the project yeah. required BA. BA. Yes. Okay. Based on that, okay, there will be a team um, BA members also. But based on the project, there will be a 1 BA, 3 BAs, 4 BAs. Okay, like that. Your uh, work will be distributed. Task. Excuse me, sir. Can we call this as a rough work before the uh, making app? Exactly. So this is, this, a, has yeah, to be this is a rough work. Yeah, this is a rough work. Okay, before once it is approved, means then it is go for uh, mock ups. Mock ups means see, first I made only wireframes like this. You just only add like this images, icon, that's all. Sure. Okay, once it is okay, approved from your, uh, your stakeholder, means you will add some mock ups here. Okay, like uh, photos uh, and uh, colorfully, you will add some colorful. Then it it is agree with them means okay. Then you will go. For, uh, it is move for prototypes. In prototypes, front end and back end developers will come. Okay, they will work on that. Sir, <clears throat> sir, as we read in that theory sessions that while convey uh, conveying the requirements of the stakeholder to our developing team, we have to use the technical language. Or technical terms, 
and yes. the while in the same condition when we have to convey anything to our stakeholder we have to use the customer language or the layman language that makes it more easily to understand to the yeah. stakeholder exactly. The the, exactly the visualization is better than clearer right sir so your slides mm -hmm. sir the combination of these slides that are mockups sir so will we make different mockups one for a stakeholder that will show us that will tell him that how the product will be made or made, how will yeah. we look like how will be looking once the process has been done exactly and sir when we share this same mockup to our technical team so do mm -hmm. we have to change any of the like languages or technical terms mm -hmm. yeah change means the vacant uh, because uh, based on the they will they can change the language because they are using if they are using the java or what the language may change but the navigation what i'm showing for you if i click yes, on sir. submit button it should be redirected to the home page only in home page if i click on this one it should be redirected to card page only like the navigation should be same what we are giving they have to uh, we are, we will expect them from that's all. what we want we will expect from the developers because so we I mean, stakeholder expecting the same from as it from BA. Okay, so that's why we have to convey to a developers that I want this one only. So we don't have to make two mockups, one for the stakeholder and one for the tech. No, 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 not not like that. Once it is approved from stakeholder, means the same mockups you will give for developers. Okay, sir. Thank not you. Like that. Okay. The difference between Balsamic and Azure? Ah, yeah, Balsamic and Azure means, see, the visualization, first I said visualization. Okay, this is like non-realistic. When you are using Azure means, it's like a real-time application, you are working on real-time application only, while using. Okay. okay, that is one point. And here you can't add or input a text here. Okay, but in Azure, you can add and input a text. Okay, I will show you once using that tool. Okay, that application, you will get a clear idea. Okay, by using that. Yeah. Because yeah. The, the, see, the tools may change this, guys. Because, yeah, because Azure, Balsamic, or Figo, there are a lot many tools in, okay. In it, IT it, company, it, there are lot many tools. Yeah, but... Exactly. They will ask you. Yeah, first they will ask you, you have aware on prototypes, you did prototypes. That's all. Okay, you can okay. say that yes or no. If you have yes means you can you can say that yes, I have an idea. Which tool they they will ask you which tool you have idea. You can say balsamic or Renshu. Because if they are using separate tool, they are using different tool means you can say that. Okay, I can learn on that tool. Okay, the similar tools only. They are all similar tool using for prototypes. But based on the organization and the projects, it may differ. Okay. This using tool in IT company, uh, Balsamica, Azure, Azure, anyone? Yeah, Azure. Azure? Yeah, Azure. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, Balsamica, no? Hmm. Yeah, they are using Balsamic or Azure, but they will give more prefer for Azure. Okay, okay. Okay, you guys more work on Azure. Okay, focus on Azure. Sorry, your voice is too low. Another sector, banking. Anywhere, okay, wherever you go. Okay, as a BA, the domain may change, ma. First thing, domain may change. But what the technique, what the method you are using, which tools you are using, will be same. Okay, thank okay. you for the permission. Okay, mostly. Okay, now I will show Azure, guys. Sir, the uh, same uh, thing, use it for uh, okay. apps also, no, sir? Apps and softwares. Yeah, same. Application means everything. So, okay, Whatever sir. application you're developing, you're creating just screens and pages, things. that's all. As a BA, we don't go behind the back end or anything. Just we will show them how the pages look like. Now you can see my screen, as you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And see, yes, sir. this is a screen of Azure. See, that this is a can of Azure. This is like a more advanced compared to Balsamic. Okay. 
okay in balsamic i have to show for you guys one thing and how to import and how to save right and that is very important for you okay here if you want to save your the day uh the presentation the screens and present what you created the report go here a project okay there is an option save or save as okay if you want means save as whatever or control as if you control as also it will save for you okay project you can give any name okay and you can save password as save and if you want to export to pdf or images okay there is option export here so you, you can export into current mockup to png means only this page okay only this page will be converted into mock png form all if you want all what are the screens that you have prepared it should be converted to png means all mockups will convert to the png okay and mockup to the clipboard what if is you png can... PNG in image form. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Image form. Okay. I image PNG format. Image. Image format. Image format. PNG. See if okay, I okay. if I show you, I want to save this file means okay. I will uh, click all files, for example, and I am giving one folder mockups. Okay, where it should be in downloads. I'm giving in downloads. Okay, I selected. Oh, already it's saved. Okay, I'm giving replace it. I want to see means I can see. Sir, one quick question. Sir, I think they are in documents, sir. Sir, so you are able to hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue, continue with your notes. Um, so, suppose if we take a scenario wherein if this is the fresh project that we are working on. Mm -hmm. So, so whatever the information, suppose if the project is about the food app implementation and with whom do we interact in order to almost make the close resemblance of this mock-up with i mean whatever the finite details which need to be on the screen right so how do we with whom do we interact in order to get such level of details see some based on the project there will be a product owner yeah yeah something otherwise sometime they will give a stakeholder or means from client also you will gather the requirements okay you gather mm -hmm. the requirements and for example, you work on for food application. Okay, they will okay. give clear information, clear requirements from their end. Okay, you will just based on the requirement what you gather. Okay, you start implement it. You gather the requirement, you analyze it, and you model. You have to model the requirements, right? While right. modeling the requirement, you use these tools and you model where should become this requirement, this feature where should be we can add, and you will show that to the the particular stakeholder, the same stakeholder, okay, who okay. gave project for okay. you, okay, and you will take approval from there only, them only. Okay. You have to take approval from them. If it is approved and sign off, then it will move for the next process for the development. Okay, so it will be kind of a back and forth activity with them, wherein we will yeah. go and exactly. say that okay, this is details where you need it. These exactly. details, whatever they exactly. so supposedly yeah. tell us. Exactly. We have to we have to give as a BA, we have to give daily updates to them and we have to take feedbacks and uh, approvals from them. If without their approval, we can't go forward. Oh. Sir, can you please remove the uh, remove the 
Okay, so like this, okay, you give one name and uh, download here. Okay, you will get that. I don't want to waste your time. Okay, you got right, guys? Yeah. Yes. Okay, now we look. Okay, let's go to the Azure now. Okay, mm, see, in Azure, now I want to create some. Okay, first I will go for. Okay, if you want to rename. Sorry, ma'am. Can I speak out for this event? Okay. Voice is not clear. Not clear, sir. I'm not. You break the voice. Okay. Now, now it's okay. Yeah, I'm audible. Okay. Okay. Now I want to rename the page. Means okay. Right click here. You can rename. First, I will go for login press. Same. And see here, you only see this much of widgets. Okay, you can't see more widgets here. Only there will be limitations for us because this is a professional. Okay, it will look professional, so that's why they give like this. Okay, for example, I will show. I want to create some pages now. See, I'm taking, for example, rectangle for to look like a screen. And I'm giving heading, heading like uh, login page. I want text here. Here for text, I am taking label, guys. Okay, there there is a text in uh, balsamic. There is a text here. The name is label. Okay, for user ID. I'm copying this thing and giving password. Okay. And here there there is a input means text input. Okay. Here there is a field called text field. Okay, in balsamic that is text input and here text field. Text field. Okay, here you can add okay, you can enter or you can enter uh, any fields or any data here. And I want one button. Okay, you can give there is a button called HTML button. Okay, I align to center. Submit. Okay, like the sample I created. Okay, and I'm going for next page. I called I'm renaming to home page. Okay, I'm taking in home page and taking the screen I want logo I want to add logo for example horizontal line like this like a menu bar there is a menu bar right menu bar. now here I want to add photo means logo again I'm going back here Copy see. where you want, you can add like this here. Local will come okay. And this is menu bar. Simply, I'm like writing here menu bar. Guys, what are the fields? It will come based on the client with one menu bar. Okay, and I will add here like profile will come. Right. For that, I'm taking profile icon. file and I want a uh, cart icon.
for example, a given vectors. And there will be more. Mm -hmm. Now I am going to save them. So, for example, images. Okay, there will be some images like for, for image. Not for images. For more than images, I am adding clicking from here. Images. I got example images. See. And I want to add text here. For text, I am taking label. For text, there will be label. Mm -hmm. What we can give like ABC product quantity one like KG or five dollars. If you want to change change this font, means select and you can change your face, the font size or font color. If you want to bold, you can bold. Okay, if you want to change color as well, okay, you can color which color you want. You can copy the same if you want. Okay, I'm copying the same for your reference. And if you want to add to a card. Okay, if you, from here also you can add to the cart. Right. From home page only you can add to the cart. And if you want to buy from here only, directly you can buy means I'm giving another button. Direct button here. Buy now. By now. This is a sample home page, guys. A sample home page. And now I want to create a um, card page. Right. I want to create a card page. Same and follow uh, copy the same. So how do we add link in this uh, pages? Add link up. Yes, yeah, I will show you. At the end, I will show you. First, I want to create some pages, right? Okay, I want to create and I will show the navigation. How we can add the link. Okay. For example, I am taking out of three. I added this two for uh, card. Okay, I added card. And I want to take radio button this. Why I have to take radio button in card page? Any idea why I take no. radio button? To select. Exactly. To select. Select multiple. Select multiple. Select multiple. Can you check box? Yeah, check box. Check box. Yeah, select. We can use check box or checkbox when it will comes means okay in terms and condition okay we can use checkbox yes. as well okay there also we can use but radio button we will use radio button okay in selecting of these items more than two or three will be there in the time we will use this checkbox radio button okay i selected two and i am giving one button here that it should be redirected to the payment payment or make payment. 
And I'm copying the same. This one, this one. Payment page. Payment page. In payment page, what you will see that the options, right? For example, the radium button. The radium button. Here you can make cash on delivery. Um, UPA, and, yeah. UPA, UPA, card, card of UPA, you said, okay, UPA, that bank, that banking, yeah, and it banking. Wallet. Yeah, more, okay, like my heart will come, okay, more. And give sample for it. Okay, and again, you will give one uh, yeah, submit HTML. button. Sorry, like, me, HTML button. Hey, HTML button. Here they are giving button like their button. Button or the same. Button. We will call it button. Okay. HTML means? The front end. We are using front end HTML idea. Okay, front end, we are using HTML. Okay, HTML okay. CSS. Okay. Java script. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like kind of uh, details. Your front end, front end work? Okay. Yeah, front end. Yeah, for front end, they're using this. It's the okay. language. It is a okay. language. Okay. okay. For uh, here, you will say proceed to pay. Okay. Once you set that proceed to pay, it will reduce to the payment page. Okay. Like this, I created this some four pages okay. mm. for example if you click on proceed to pay uh, once payment successfully paid you have to show this one right okay you have to uh, it, it should be show a successful or not once you the payment is successful means the pop-up should be displayed for you right successfully payment done for no, that, no, yeah. No yeah, I will I will show you how we how we can show in front end in uh, by using this uh, application. Okay, we can show. Like for example, I am adding another page here. Okay, for adding another page, okay, click here and right click. There is an add button. There is an option for you have to add sibling page or child page. Sibling page means the same page what you are creating now like that okay. okay child page means the child page of this this main page see the difference home page card okay all it are siblings and this is child of this sibling so again, the difference between home page and uh, card page tell me yeah here here you can change this means home page what i added here so you can change this here. This is like a main page, guys. This home page, what I given here, the login page is main here. Okay, this is parent, and these are all child here. Really? Home okay, page, okay. page, or child, and these are all siblings here. This is child for this one. See here, login is parent, these are all siblings. Okay, sir. Oh, not these are all childs for login page. Okay, these are all siblings then. Okay, this one is child for payment page. Okay, if you have more another means uh, another functionality in the same page means you can add another page, the child page for that for your reference. Because why means you have to connect, right? You have to show the uh, the navigations. While doing the navigation, you will get in some idea. Okay, then you can easily navigate. So for navigation purpose, I'm giving this is a child page. Okay, I'm selecting the same here. See, I want to highlight this one. Okay, back, see, 
once they click on proceed to pay if the payment is successful it should be pop up like uh, successfully paid for that i'm selecting all i want this background should be dull here okay i want background should be dull means see in the right side okay there is a opacity right okay there is opacity i will decrease to 10 or 20 see it will become dull grayish color see how it is and how it is and i will take another now on a rectangle page it should pop up like this like uh, double click and click successfully yeah. or whatever okay. so you can take the label You want change the font, change the color if you want, okay. and you can for background this one, you can change the color. Okay. Payment done. Okay, so now I created one, two, three, four, five pages. Okay. Again, I'm creating one. Another button here, give me one button. Okay. If it is click on okay, again it should read it to the payment. Yes, I created some pages. Right? Now I will show the navigation how we can navigate here. Okay, see here. Yeah? Which if you if I click on submit button, then only it should be read to the home page, right? So that's why I'm click selecting a home page uh, submit button okay in the right side you can see a create a link got it guys create a link how to create a link here click on create a link if you click on submit button which page it should be redirect it should be redirect to the home page for me so that's why i'm creating clicking on home page okay created guys link has created for second I'm, I'm going for logo means home page in home page if i click on this icon called cart icon it should be redirect to the card page form okay i'm selecting card page okay otherwise if i click on directly buy now button from here only it should be redirect to the payment page form okay it's an alternative flow to get an item for me okay there are two flows for me one i can go through add to cart or directly from buy now okay in cart page i can select anyone and if i click on here it will redirect to the payment page okay if i click on logo for example it should be redirect to the home page again okay this is my business logic like that Okay, and making payment. If I click on making payment, then only you can go for um, payment page. Okay, it is not required here because I'm giving radio button, right? If you select one, you can uh, make a payment, not required. But in payment page, I select any one of them. And if I click payment page, it should be display successfully payment done like that. and if i click on logo it should be redirect to the home page okay if i click on okay it should be redirect to the payment page again okay like this i prepared guys
Okay, got it. Away created a link. That's clear. Yes, sir. Okay, now I will show how it we can navigate. Okay, for uh, navigate, sir. there is uh, uh, one question. So, doing all these things, do we have any checkpoint documents? Are we maintaining? Like, we have to create user manual document. Okay, once all you... Mm -hmm. See, once I, you have to show, I have to give presentation to the stakeholder. Okay, once they approve, mm -hmm. means for your technical team, you will write one user manual document. Means how the, the how I explaining now, Okay, like uh, mm -hmm. I want to enter user ID, I want to enter password, then click on submit and then it want to redirect to the home page. Okay, this presentation we have to give, then we'll, we have to prepare a documentation called write-ups or user manual document you will see. Okay, clearly you will explain each and every requirements here. Okay, that you will forward to that technical team. Okay, they can go to the technical the technical team go through that document. They can clearly understand if they click on submit button, what should happen. Okay. So In do we have way. any specific format or for that or? No, no there's no hmm. like specific. Okay, based on the organization, I can tell based on the organization, they will follow one roadmaps, different kind of method, different kind of process. Okay, but what we can do, but one thing you have to prepare mockups that is, uh, necessary that is mandatory for us but after that which document you are to prepare like uh, somewhere we will prepare user manuals in somewhere we won't prepare user manuals directly we can discuss with the technical team okay like changes will be there but remaining all uh, the process will be same guys like what you are preparing the mockups it's same the documentation based on the organization it may changes for it Okay. okay, sir. Yeah, thank you. Okay, okay guys, see, like this. Uh, okay, I can create. Ah, same. How can you? Uh, go back from login page or some different page. See, I will say, I will. That, that's why now I'm coming to the navigation page. Okay. I created links. Now I have to show you how we can navigate, how you can present to the stakeholder. See, for example, uh, I created links. See, there is an option here, preview option for you. See, in menu bar, there is a preview option. Click on that. See, it redirects to the one page for you. See, like this. Here, you can enter user ID. For example, like this, you can give presentation to your stakeholder. You will enter user ID and you enter password some password. Once you click on submit button, it redirects to the home, home page. Okay. Okay. If you want to add, if you want to add this uh, to the cart, okay, you can click on this. This is a backend. Okay. We can't show here. This is a backend. Once you click here, it will add it to the cart page. I want to see the cart page means once you click on cart page, you can see a cart page. From here, you want to buy someone, something, anything. Out of two, I want to buy this one. Okay. Click on make payment. Okay. Redirect to the payment page. Out of this, I am selecting card, you pay, whatever. Okay. If you click on card or cash on delivery, proceed to pay. Okay. You can see that successful payment done. Okay. Means again, it will redirect to the back and you will go for home page again. Okay, like this, you will navigate and I given only sample for you guys. Based on this, you will work on your applications. Okay, the okay, skills and okay, clear, ma'am. Yes, sir. The three tools what I explained today. This is uh, all about as a BA, the technical uh, tools that we have to use mandatory that is compulsory for us. Okay, the domain may change, guys, but tools never change. The process never change for you. Okay, one thing you have to remember.
सर डोंट वी हैव स्क्रीन ले आउट द वे वी हैड इन बैल्समेक लाइक वेब पेज एंड no no here we can't see see that's the that's why i said now there you yeah, know previously see here it is a professional way see it will looks like professional for us compared to that see here compared to this one here you can see lot many widgets widgets for us options but here there is no options for us but you can drag from anywhere or you can browse see for example i browser this one and logo and browsing this for uh, uh, from google browse it. okay like this you can browse okay. and it will like uh, look feel look a uh, good so that's okay. azure is better compared to that no okay. balance thank you sir okay and here can you, you can say can, uh, you can, can you share the pdf format sorry ma you can can you share the pdf format Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I will show you how we can see. Here, there is a file, right? And you can save or save as, save as like, uh, and show. Okay. And here, one, two, three, double, three. What I give one, and I want to export. See, export all images, pages to images. Okay. Desktop. I will give one desktop. Okay, it's saved. See, I'll save to the desktop here. Double click, and you can see. See what I created. All converted into images. See. And this, and if you want share, means you can share like this. Which and you can import RP file as well. Okay, if you have any RP file that you worked and you if you want to share, yes, you can share this to your stakeholders. Guys, clear, guys. Have any doubts? So, from where do we get the software authentication for our practice? Okay, okay guys. So, uh, um, till now clear, right? Can for next stages I can explain. Till now clear means okay. I will go for next. Means what is the next stage for you? Okay. See, guys. Oh, uh, it's okay. Means from today. Uh, for tomorrow, uh, for today, you all guys completed your tool session and workshops. Okay, from Monday, you guys will enter into the placements. Okay, in placements, what you will do means this is not, not sorry in nurturing guys. Sorry, nurturing. In nurturing, you will uh work on real time. Like practically, you will work on guys. You will get I mean what you learn from workshop, what you learn from tools. Okay, and you will implement in nurturing. Okay, we will give some capstone projects. Live pro, you guys will work on live projects. Okay, and there will be some more uh, like nurturing. Okay, for more details. Okay, guys. Uh, today or Monday once uh, connect to your coordinators. Okay, connect to your coordinators. They will give you login credentials for you guys. Okay, login credentials. Login credentials of COIPD portal. Yeah, one okay, one... yeah, yeah, yeah. My my batch is weekend batch only. Mm -hmm. Saturday and Sunday. And no worries. Yeah. That uh not only that Saturday Sunday. That one the batch only for Saturday Sunday. Okay, for yeah. nurturing you can do at any time. Okay, there is no any yeah. batch only for weekend. You uh, don't want to wait for weekends only. Nurturing also uh, weekend batch. Uh, weekend batch. Uh. Hmm. 
No, you can no, no. take nurturing any time. So any it's time. something like you have to attend the nurturing induction. Ah, and yes. once you attend the nurturing induction, it's like you will be on the job work of a BA role. That means once you enter into the site, you will get a credentials. If you don't receive the credentials, you need to talk to your coordinator or you can inform me. And once you receive it, then you have to just attend the nurturing induction. That is the first step. There, they will explain how many exams will be there, how you are going to attend the exams and what are the different tabs in your portal. Each portal, what is the significance of each portal, where you can download if there is any some standard templates are available, where you can download and how you need to raise a service request, what you need to respond. So everything is available. Let us say, after explaining, still I have some doubts on the nurturing. Again, there will be a session. Still I have nurturing uh, doubts. Again, there will... So then once you get the credentials, what do you need to do? Today in the evening around 11 o'clock, you have done everything. Let's say tomorrow you have done everything. So you log in and you'll write exam. You log in and you'll write exam. What if, if I have some uh, doubts? Maybe there is a question about RDBMS, but nobody explained me about RDBMS. How should I really know? Do I need to depend on only workbook? Then you can join the doubt session. In the doubt session, the mentor will explain, hey, this is the question. This is the process that you need to follow. Our intention is to get you more knowledge, not to trouble you. If you think, hey, I think I wanted an answer. I don't want to do analysis. Then take the answer. That, that's what how the things will work. Once you're done with your uh, uh, exams, then you will move to the projects and um, maximum five projects will be given. But if you wanted more, you can let us know and we'll give you the projects. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you for information. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And thank please, you. I wanted to connect with you all uh, every week. Uh, most probably, I'll try to have uh, one stand-up call uh, every weekend uh, around Saturday or Sunday. Uh, I'll get you the links. I'll try my best to be there or maybe some mentor will be there. Exactly what is happening with you. This week, we need to set some milestone. There are two types of people. One, uh, I don't want to dedicate the time. And end of the day, I need the result. I'm really sorry it won't work out. I have seen people when I when I see a challenged person, the person is always not spending their time and trying to have the problems. If you start investing your time now, whether it is 20 minutes, whether it is 30 minutes, whether it's one hour, believe me, uh, you'll make it happen. Irrespective of where you stand, how you stand, you'll make it happen. Also, there is one option in the uh, portal. There is a timesheet. If you wanted to track your own task, let's say I wanted to read about BA directives rather than reading by yourself, get into the portal, set up your time. This time to this time, I want to read BA directives. It will tell you your preparation also. You can share, you can keep that preparation plan with you, how you made it. So anyway, once we are in the nurturing induction, you can get it. If you have already attended, that's good. If you have not attended, I'll request you to attend again. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, tomorrow is holiday. Pardon? Tomorrow is holiday. Uh, tomorrow is holiday. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to worry about tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Any she questions? Uh, uh, there is no tools, class tomorrow. All thank the tools you, completed uh, currently. Pa what is that? Uh, so are all the tools that are to be covered already covered? Uh, like there was no, no, only BI three also. mandatory tools covered because this is required for you to when you are writing the exams or when you are working on the projects. The rest of the tools every weekend the tool sessions will be scheduled. That schedule will be available in your portal. You will just uh, click on uh, request or attendance. Then the link will pop up and then you will attend accordingly. It's not like one time. Any time if you see any any tool is again conducted, then you can anytime join multiple times. You can join the tools. Okay. So like for example, Power BI or other tools, those right. all will be available in the nursing session in the uh, portal itself. Correct. 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 Yeah. This, okay. uh, this, okay. session, this session is uh, Balsmic and the Tableau. Uh, another one. Completed. Balsamic, Tableau, Jira, and Power BI and SQL. Okay. The, uh, how many remaining are pending there? How many? How many remaining? Oh, the tools. Right now, you have completed only three tools. There are four more tools are pending. Sir, no small doubt uh, regarding Power BI. Mm -hmm. So, are you going to teach only Power BI or Power BI services also? Only Power BI data visualization part. Because being a BA, we don't be asked to get into the details like a developer uh, uh, model. 
we will be asked to connect to the database, extract the information, visualize that. Okay, sir. Then th that part I already know. Oh, very good. Excellent. Then, then uh, cool. But give a try uh, for other tools also, as well. So, I mean, you, you just practice something and present some case study. Uh, look at the research data of Samsung or some other sales and try to create some charts. And recently, uh, sometimes people will ask you to present it in your case study when you are submitting something to the interview as well. So, it works very well. See next what you can learn. Yes, sir. Actually, so, can I'll we download the tools? Project, sir, I will... Send you that one, sir. Yeah, very good, very good, very good. Do it, do it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so tools can we download, download the tools actually. Yeah, yeah. You tools download. Uh, you will be uh, supported like the backend team. You need to raise a service request. They'll tell you, hey, do you want a cloud or do you want an installation? If it is an installation, then uh, they will take access and they'll try to help you to download and uh, activate the student version. If suppose okay. you want a cloud tool, hey, I don't want to install Visio on my PC unless it is going to occupy some space, then you can directly log into Lucid Charts with your email ID and you can subscribe the one which is the freeware and you can use it for the time that you want it to. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And if we want to connect with you, will you how will you let us know, sir? Uh, with me, you just connect with me through WhatsApp. Mostly, I'll be I'll be responding so late, so please don't hesitate to give me the reminder. But WhatsApp, sure. or maybe you can ask your coordinators. Hey, I wanted to schedule some time with sir, so we will be able to connect. How about the doubt session uh, from your side? Doubt session, you will get the link in the. Uh, okay, there are two types of doubt sessions. Still, I'm uh, I'm active for you to provide the doubt session for that. Uh, Topics wise, if you wanted a particular topic and wanted to have a one to one discussion, I'll be super happy and excited to connect with you that Thank you me. can uh, call or schedule with me on the WhatsApp. There is another okay. doubt session which will be conducted by CUPD on the portal. So in portal, you will find that link. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. sir. Thank you. Happy Diwali. Same to you. Hard Somebody out. is asking. Sorry. Hard out. Actually, uh, traditional portals in recording session. Uh, re recording session of yeah recording uh, you you will get it you raise a service request for recording there is an option to raise a service record uh, request for recording and you will get it on your email id yeah. or maybe they can share through tool you can download as well okay actually remaining tools are pending jira sql uh, msql tablet or web Re that will show into your portal once you log in it will show you what are your pending tools Okay, okay, okay. And what is the schedule in upcoming days? Okay, okay, sir. Thank you. Wish you a very happy Diwali. Same to you guys. All happy good? Diwali, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Wish you all the best. I'll try to connect with you next week. I'll try my best. If not, also, please don't hesitate to drop me a message. I'm asking few people for sharing the daily status report. It's my sincere request that I want, unless until you don't post your daily progress, we will not be able to make it happen. Okay? Wish you a happy very Diwali team members. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wish you all the best, guys, and happy Diwali to you as well. Oh, uh, you, who has explained the tools very well? I I appreciate your efforts. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, thank yeah. You, sir. Wish you all the best, guys. Happy Diwali, guys. Happy Diwali, guys. Thank you, sirs. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Good night. And good night, guys. Take care, bye. Take care, bye. Happy Diwali, sir. Yeah, same to you. Happy, happy yeah. day, same to you. Good night. Yeah, good night, man. Take care, guys. Bye. Sir, take care, Baba. Uh, sir, how can we get the recordings of this session that you have record that you have done? Yeah, once I will share to uh, sir, okay, or uh, my sir, okay, sir will share for you through me. Okay. Yeah, through me. Okay, okay. Thank you. Oh. Okay, sir, thank you.